The Akita is an absolutely incredible breed with an extremely loyal nature and noble presence. They are a powerful breed of dog, confident and courageous in nature and affectionate with their humans. Although they are a very popular breed, they are not the right breed for everyone. The Akita, like with all breeds, have many traits that you need to consider if you are looking to add one of these strong and powerful dogs to your home. So in today's video, we will be taking a look at some of these positives and negatives to the breed to help you in making your decision if they're the right breed for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Akita Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the glorious Akita, then how you can become a high level canine leader that raises perfect Akita companions. So if you love the Akita as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future Akita video. Right then, let's dive into today's video where I will be sharing a few of the pros and cons of the incredible Akita. Now, as I already mentioned at the beginning of today's video, the Akita is a powerful breed, large in size and strong in personality as well as physically. They are a determined and courage-filled dog breed that are incredibly loyal to their owners. Their loyalty to their human companions is a quality that these dogs are extremely well renowned for. Originally used for guarding royalty and nobility in Japan, these dogs are inherently loyal and protective of their families. And if you are after a watchdog, then you can be sure that this dog can be trained to do so. They will bark when needed in order to warn you of anything they perceive as a danger. Their protective natures means that they will naturally defend their family without a second thought, making them excellent watchdogs. As a potential owner, you should socialize your Akita often from a young age as their loyalty to you and your family can cause these dogs to be wary of other people and animals with the objective of keeping you safe at all times. They are great for owners who know how to handle them and train them properly with consistency and patience. They are bright dogs, but with a reserved nature. They won't bark unnecessarily and can be very independent, which brings us to our next point. The Akita can sometimes be difficult to train. Their strong-willed and independent nature can cause them to be quite stubborn at times, so they definitely need an owner to be training them from a young age with a consistent, gentle, but firm manner, and your leadership needs to be clear and respected by your dog. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free Principles to the Perfect Puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success so I can't wait to see you over there again there'll be a link in the description box below I'll see you on that course Akitas, as a breed, are fun-loving dogs by nature and will love to play with their family out in the garden and in the home. They thrive in a home environment and being with their people is very important to them. Although they are strong and courageous dogs, they are actually very sensitive by nature and tend to show their love for their owners in a calm and quiet way, like wanting to know where you are but not in a pestering, wanting to be on you all the time kind of way. Grooming your Akita is not too difficult either, but they are very heavy shedders, which is important to know if you are not someone who will be able to deal with a large amount of hair all over your home and clothes. You will be frequently hoovering up large amounts of hair, so be sure to consider this when looking into the breed that you want. The heaviest of their shedding happens two or three times a year, but they continue to shed all year round. In order to slightly reduce the amount of hair you find around the house, you should brush your dog at least weekly, which will also help keep their plush coat healthy and clean. They will also require baths every few months to prevent their dense coat getting matted with dirt. However, Akitas do like to keep themselves clean and so tend to attend to this themselves. Akitas are incredibly intelligent dogs and their large muscular build means that they need a lot of daily exercise and mental stimulation in order to maintain a happy and healthy life. 
And Akita needs a minimum of two hours of exercise each day, which should include long walks and off-lead running in safe and secure areas where there are no other animals or livestock around due to the Akita's high prey drive. They were bred to hunt wild animals, and this is an inherent instinct that you need to be aware of. They are powerful dogs with an athletic build and need to be able to release their energy to prevent any bad habits and behaviours from developing. They should be let out into the back garden as often as possible, but this does need to be extremely secure as they are well known as being very intelligent escape artists. Depending on who you are and your lifestyle, this amount of exercise that the Akita requires may be a huge pro or a big con. The Akita is a truly stunning and impressive breed with high intelligence, a noble appearance and an extremely loyal nature. However, it's important to consider both the pros and the cons to any breed before deciding if they're the perfect dog for you rather than focusing just on how glorious they look. So I hope that video helped you in doing that for the Akita and if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification and bell if you're new here because we've got two dedicated Akita videos coming to this channel every single week and I can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Fenrir Akita Show.